If there's one place we've been seeing a lot of growth out of in 2014, it's definitely the Chinese portion of the smartphone market. We've seen announcement after announcement, and even more are to come later this year before the end of 2014. But one just came to my doorstep, and it is the latest flagship by Meizu. So it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And it's time to unbox and give my first impressions on the Meizu MX4. All right, and here we are with the Meizu MX4. This is the brand new flagship by Meizu, whose MX3 from much earlier this year was actually one of the better looking phones that I had used at the beginning of this year. I did really like its design, and if I'm not uh, mistaken, we should be getting a very similar design in this one as well, along with a few very key enhancements. But before, without any further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. The Meizu logo is right there on the bottom, but here we are with the MX4. We do have a plug adapter here made for European plugs, and from there, we're just going to jump right into the actual phone itself, which I believe should be in this booklet right here, which uh, has been the case for a couple of other unboxings in the past. But before I open that up, I will uh, jump into this area down here, which actually doesn't seem to have anything. Perhaps I don't get any headphones in my demo unit right now. And then obviously we have the micro USB charging cable. So we'll go ahead and just throw all of that aside and jump right into the actual phone itself. Now we do have some documentation here, uh, basically just telling us exactly what to expect when it comes to this particular phone. We do have a larger screen with uh, supposedly a better resolution on it, but we'll take a look at that a little bit later. And also a camera here that, as the documentation says, has a 20.7 megapixel power. So that's actually pretty nice. We have a very powerful camera on this particular phone itself. And then from there, the FlyMe 4.0, which we will take a look at more in depth in our full review, obviously. But then again, here we are with the actual phone itself, Meizu right here on the front with the plastic. And it looks like it does retain a very similar design from the MX3. It looks like that's pretty much everything that we're going to be getting as far as the unboxing goes, aside from some documentation here. And of course, a little bit there that I can't read because it's in Chinese. <laughs> and from there, it looks like we have everything from this particular unit that I will be reviewing, the Meizu MX4. Now, as far as the display goes, we do have a 5.36 inch display right here, which is a little bit unusual. It's not necessarily one of the more conventional sizes that we see when it comes to our uh, phones. But as far as the resolution goes, we do have a 1920 by 1152 resolution screen, which does bring a little bit more resolution than proper 1080p. But for the most part, you'll still be getting full HD quality and experiences from here. The home button down here on the bottom is what you will use for pretty much all of your interactions with the FlyMe uh, 4.0 in this case and of course we have a nice brushed feel on the back now what we'll do here is uh, actually what we see here is that it has the sample down here so this is squarely a demo unit volume rocker over here on the sides and of course we have the volume uh, the power button which is actually up top yes the inspiration comes from an earlier version of an iPhone which a lot of people are going to notice when it comes to this phone but that doesn't mean it isn't attractive and it doesn't have some function to it so after some setup we are finally into the FlyMe UI this is 4.0, and the thing you'll notice about FlyMe, and it actually is the case for a lot of Chinese or rather aged in um, operating systems when it comes to Android, is the fact that it does not come with a app drawer. For the most part, you're going to be setting up all of your applications on the home screens to be organized into things like folders or just in particular grids, however which way that you feel you should be able to put them together to make things look very organized. Nonetheless, that might pose a little bit of a problem for a number of people out there who prefer to have their app drawers, but that is the case when it comes to the FlyMe. 4.0. Now going into some of the apps, uh, you, what you'll notice is we only really have the button here at the bottom, much like the MX3, where basically you'll be swiping up from the bottom of the screen in order to open up the recent tasks, and I have opened up a few already, so it's an easy way for you to just multitask between a number of different places. There you go. And you'll see that there's a menu bar down here that will contextually come up with a number of buttons depending on where you are. If you hit the back button, it'll just go back. In other cases, you'll have the menu bar only used for the actual app you're in. And if you want to get to the home screen or rather hit the back button in a different way, you can always swipe up from the actual button on the bottom and it'll bring you back home. Go to the messaging, maybe open up a message. If I want to go back, I swipe up, goes back, swipe up again, goes back to the home screen. The notification drop dropdown uh, is pretty standard. It has your quick toggles up on the top, and if you can always expand them right here in order to get to even more. 
and then hit that just to go back home. Swiping up from there, as you can see the little light on the bottom, means that you're going to go back. However, my impressions, first impressions, are still pretty much the same as they were when it came to the MX-3. It's a nice design, it does take inspiration from a pretty obvious place, but from there we still have a very nice looking phone with a nice looking operating system, and I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces for a full review. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and even more coverage on the MX-4. Make sure you take a look at the content from my colleagues in Android, Joe, Jace, Kevin, the Tech Ninja and Lon. And from there, drop us some likes on our videos. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And remember that Android Authority is your source for all things Android.